Hello. Good morning. So this is now a plan C run. I had a plan A, a plan B, and I'm now up to plan C. Unfortunately, a tree has blown down in the neighborhood and Graham and I have had to start our run from Lockside School. This will be a plan C run. I think we're probably gonna run 40 minutes. 20 minutes out past Roy and then 20 minutes back. So real time is 10.50. I said 11 o'clock, so Chris is probably holding me to that. She is in fact the driver. So she has the ultimate say as to when we get to meet up. Ah, this looks like him. Yep. Hello, Graham. Hello. What is this, Plan C, or is it Plan D now? Right, tell me about it. I think it's Plan C. It's awful. I don't know what they're doing. The power's out or something, isn't it? I heard something on the uh, internet about a tree that blew down, and oh. they had to reroute oh. people onto Greenlee. I said that. That That's little it. section of from the Bottle Bank to Sanish Road was closed, but who I knows? I said I bet it's a tree. Yeah. Uh, shoot, what, about what, what should we say? 20 minutes out, 20 minutes back. 40. All right. Okay. See you later. Thanks, Chris. Say hi to Larry. Larry? She's going, she's going to drop off a Larry's dad died. Oh, Larry, shoot. Larry and Gail, you know that. The blind guy? No. All right, let's go. No. Larry, yeah. Uh, Mitchell. Chinese. Oh. His wife. Lives out in God over day. We, we've been on holiday with them. Is he an expat? Is he a Brit? No. No. He's a Canadian. He's a Canuck. He's a, oh, big Canuck. Montreal he supports. Oh, really? Can they, the years, Canadians. Not many long, I hope. Not too long. It, it took me less than I thought to I get know. here. I said to Chris, God, I better get going. He said he's off now. <laughs> <laughs> it took me about 15 minutes. So I was there about nine minutes. Hi. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Gave me a chance. Hi there. How are you doing? Very well. Good to see you, mate. That's uh, Carl, Carl Ben. He's a Harrier. Yeah. His nickname was the Stallion. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit funny, isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad, is it? That's a good nickname. The rain is too bad. Oh, the rain. I thought you meant the nickname. No. Better than being called the weasel or the sloth. Right. The stallion at least sounds impressive. He's quite a runner. Is he? Yeah. Well, he was walking with his wife. Oh, was he? They're both expat Brits. And oh. uh, he has... Just recently retired, but his line of work was he used to have this big old Bentley. Can you just hang on a minute? I'll have to hold on to it. I've got some crap in my bloody shoe. Okay. He uh, used to have this big old Bentley. Yeah. And uh, he used to take tourists on guided tours of Victoria. Yeah, make sure you don't put more crap in. I know. All right, you I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I okay. got gotcha. you. Right. Got it, got it. That's it's the fine. first time I've had to help you, you know, balance. That's right. I know. Huh? Come on, you shoelace. That's okay. Just a minute. We'll definitely have a negative split now because 
goodness. coming back. Hopefully we won't have to stop again. I know, I've got to find it. It's nice now, that's good. Oh, hang on, I've got it. You got it? Yep, there it okay. is. Just in my knees. It, it was but... inside, the lace was inside yeah, your shoe. Good. Right, sorry. I think that's better. Now which side were we on? Yeah, this. All right. I'll do the other coming. Sorry. Oh, that's better. I was right, a couple of bits on the heel tuck. They don't need to be very big. No, no they, they don't. And they, they if don't they're sharp, like, they are, yeah. They nice. stick right in. You yeah. hope that it moves, but I know. the chances so, are it won't move. Sometimes it doesn't move. I thought it's not gonna move this thing. And then it disappears. God the God. Little I think the little bits of uh, pine Grit. needles. Oh pine needles. Who knows? Grit. Grit. So we used to have an old Bentley? Yeah. Wow. He used to drive it around town with the tourists. Oh, and because I can drive one? Yeah, yeah, he had the old chauffeur's hat the oh. lot. It was his job. Oh, did he? Yep. Oh, cool. He's been doing it for 20 years. Wow. It'll be his own business? Yep. What was his name? Carl Ben. Oh, Carl Ben. Not Tony Ben. No. Anthony Wedgwood Ben. I used to go to school with his sons. Oh, did you? Hillary. Oh, right. He's a politician now. With his sons? How old? Yeah. He in school? Yep. Well, how old is he? Hillary must be in, in his 50s now. Late so 50s. Carl is what? Carl Ben is 70 odd. Must be. He's older than me. Must be. But. Wedgwood Ben, he's dead now, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Not that long ago. No. He was about 90. He used to wander around the House of Commons because he wouldn't go in the House of Lords. Not like blanket. Patronage crap. It's been a while since we've run on Lockside. Hasn't it? Yeah. Just going by the 9K. Right. The eight was missing for a long time, but I think it's back now. You'd normally run this with Alan, right? Yep. Yep. But I couldn't run Thursday, so I haven't run for a week and a half. Okay. I ran last I'll go I easy on you. Ran with you. Okay. Because I had a meeting. Oh, God. The host. We've got CFB members, which is good, in Ontario now, for the chapter. But they use our phone line. So I have to do the master phoning, because we have the money, you see. Well, did you have, a, like, a, a group chat with them? Yep. There's uh, eight to ten people. How does that work? Yeah, you just phone in. It's called Acro Voice. Okay. I think it's too sure. I'm not sure, Carl. But you don't. But how do you know who's talking? Do you have well, to keep. You just have to say your name. Introduce yourself. Yep. Each time. We do a roll call. Yeah. Who's there? And if you want to speak, say your name first. Yep. Because then you know. So you say, this is Graham. Right, sure. I did it all the time. Someone forgot. Well, don't forget to let you know who you are. Yeah. It's always difficult when I'm recording voices. Right. If there's more than two people. Right. It's not just difficult for me. Right. Because I was there at the time. Right. But for anybody exactly. else. The only way around That's it would be to around. have an Englishman an Irishman, a Scotsman. a Scotsman, a Frenchman, a German. Well, that was jokes. If you had a different accent for each right. person, then you would identify them from their the voices. Eyes, which I think, always, depending on who you were, yeah. you made the joke fit the other two, right? <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. There we go. This is good. This is good. We're just Thanks coming out. Just coming up to Lowbrunner. We're going to another trivia night tonight. Okay. We're just participants. 
Where are you going? Wonder if you can see me or something. Oh yeah. But John's running and he said, yeah. Said, Go on, sure, count us in. Four o'clock. But they're going to rotate people two at a time from table to table. That's a That's good an idea. interesting idea. Yeah. Sure. Good Lord. Yeah, we're in the exposed area here. Right. God, it's coming out. You're not too pure, all right, with temperature on. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? I don't have gloves on. Wow. It'll be right in a bit. Thank you. I was communicating with a friend of mine about running in the cold, and she was saying that... Uh, she ran in the cold once and her hands were so cold she couldn't even operate her phone. That's, well, that's probably, no, that's good. Tell her that's good. Yeah, well, I said. You don't need to. I said that us runners, we channel all our warm blood to the right. working muscles right. and neglect yeah, sure. the rest. Yeah, but we'll see what It's funny, I went to the trouble of measuring our run today. Right. Starting at the bottle bank. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> it never was. Plan C. It was never meant to be today, Carl. No, it wasn't. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We just happened to go by. Just as well, actually. Yeah. Because you'd have been, been a bit where we could have found you. Yeah. I'd have been found so yeah, what was the distance? 5.5, I figured. Oh, cool. We would do in 40 minutes. Right. And that's at a pace of Jeez. 7 minutes, oh my God. 12 seconds. Based on last no, week. No wind at all. Yeah. How long here? To the left. There's a field of longhorn cattle. Oh, is there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, like the Texas. Texas longhorn. Yep. Not, not highland cattle. No, no. They're short no. hair. Right. Big, big animals, but with long horns. Sure. Yeah. I think he's raising. I think he's raising them for prime beef. Oh, yeah. He had a herd there last year. And around Christmas, they vanished. Oh, did they? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Probably went to the abattoir. Yep. I don't know where they're going out there. There's no local. No. They go to the mainland. Yeah. So we've done 11 minutes. Right. About a quarter of the way. Quarter of the way. That's right. Yep. You're doing the calculations, hi. You're figuring well, out how far we are. Well, I reckon nine. we'll get to the monkey tree. Right. That'd be good. I think you would well, we might get to the drinking fountain. To the other side of the, of the bridge. And a bit more. We've got nine minutes. Right. To the first 20. Is that a walker? That was two two walkers. Oh. Two of them. Good system. Neil and I are doing the McDonald's Monopoly. See if we can win some time. He's so funny. You know, they have this monopoly here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you buy stuff and you win places. On the monopoly board? Yeah, well, it's for the centennial. No, sorry. What do they call it? 150 years. Not my centennial, what is it? No. Centennial plus 50. Yeah. They've done all the Canadian cities. they will be good collector's piece. Then you should keep that. You've got a little flimsy 
piece of paper, piece of paper board. Yeah. So I went downtown on Monday to see Derek. All right. He was volunteering at the mustard seed. Really? Yeah. Making up food hampers. All right. I asked him, I said, how do you get one of these food hampers? Right. He said, oh, basically, you just line up. I'm going to give you one. Well, there you go. Well, some of them, what's his name? See, fact is, Santa's anonymous. Yeah. You have to fill out a bloody form. Well, I think they might check your credentials. Right. In case they think you're just a freeloader. Oh, there's plenty of those cars. I know. That's plenty of those. Doesn't matter, the system's totally broken. We shouldn't even need any of these places. No. Bloody stupid. What is your opinion on guaranteed uh, personal income? Oh, yeah, it's available for everybody. Yeah, if you live and enough. if you live in a country yep. as an official resident. Yeah, it is official here, by the way. What? Some people should have a guaranteed income. To live and somewhere to and enough money to live on. And feed them, yes. They shouldn't have to call it welfare. No, no. That's the I whole thing. Well, you can call it whatever you like, but they need the money. Yeah. And 350, or whatever it was, for 900 before you rent away. Now, oh, this is new. What is it? That's a tree right across the trail. Oh, Hi. Really? Yep. Oh, it's just a bad. Yep. Really bad. We're going to have to crawl under it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Just at the foot of the bridge. How big is it? Huge. Really? Yeah. Poor old tree. I'm, I'm going to have to do with what the cops do. I don't know how safe it is. Hang on. Is it, is it, are you sure it's okay? You feel up where, that's where oh, the branch is. Good Lord. Keep going. You're clear. Good. You can stand up now. That's <laughs> a big Lucky you had a guide today. That's right. That's you could have run right into oh, that. Yeah. All right. So now we're on the bridge. Oh, it's right by the bridge. Yep. You're right. Must That's have blown down in the storm. Weird. Probably last night or early this morning. Could be. Good job we weren't running just by. Cause could have come down any time. We'll show you that. Yeah. Yep. Well, it didn't land right on the ground, so. It was propped up. Yeah. On the other side. It might have been okay. It's the weight of these things. Now we're on the it's, bridge. The, the weight is like a couple of tons. Here we're on the bridge. We almost had to resort to plan D there. It's probably the trees have all weakened with it being so dry in the summer. Yeah. That's why we've been there for years. Hello, Roy. Mr. Roy. Mr. Roy. Are you a bit cool and wet? It's a farmer. It's a bit cheer, but I'm still looking out here. Brass yeah. monkey weather. That's right. Big shivers. Big oh. shivers. We're watching too. It's got Netflix and we're watching. Oh no, it's on, it's on the channel too, but I get fed up with CBC TV. They add far too many. Yep. It's terrible. Every five minutes to six minutes of ads. Just awful. We're getting close, eh? Yep. Time wise, I mean. Time wise, three minutes. Three minutes. That'll take us just about to the drinking fountain. Will it? Yep. Okay. Which is obsolete in this room. Yeah, I think. A little wrong with your mouth open there. <laughs> I think they might have turned it off. Yeah, they do. They would. For much over on, I think. For f risk of freezing. Yeah. Down. There we go. That's getting a bit worn. It was built up. Yeah. For the last couple of years. Or so. There used to be a real pothole. Oh, yeah. It'll eventually be another one. You just pick bits up all the time, especially when it's wet. 
Yep. Well, the fact that there's two discernible lines right. in the gravel yep. means that the cyclists are moving the gravel around. Yep. Oh, God, yeah. They, they burn probably more than anything. And they, they tend to, behind them yeah, and they tend to stick to, the side. to their own trail where oh, yeah. it's smoothest. Yep, make grooves. I guess it's a bit like skiing. Yeah. But you, you, you carve That's a right. line yeah. and everybody uses it. You got it. Gosh, it's like I've not been out for weeks. Uh, it's the legs that get it. Well, at least my knee's okay. Good. Been bugging me sitting down and getting out of a chair. I think I've got osteophytes. I'd sort of, you know, <coughs> little bony outgrowth on the edge of my kneecap. Okay. And the dogs sometimes barge into me and it irritates the tracking system. Oh. Up your knee? Yep. Yuck. It, it's just the fact that it, you know, they. they cr the plane and the crash into it. Well, I was planning to cycle back this way. Yeah, you could. I could do, but there's that tree now. Oh, right. <laughs> Good God, you can't go under that with your bike. Probably you could, actually. No, I wouldn't try. Wait. It's not worth it. You know how unstable it is. Hopefully, we're all right. There's big branches holding it up. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But probably nobody's reported it yet. People are hoping. Nobody's reported it. I don't know if it's traffic lights or cars involved, right? Yeah. not been working for 10 years and it has to retrain its uh, okay. a whole system. It's Do you have any urinary incontinence? Not much. No. A bit, yes, at night. If I drink too much more fluids, I, I wear a diaper. Dribbles. It does. But when I get up and go, there's plenty there. Yeah. So I don't lose much. It just wakes me up. I guess when I'm... Well, some people have exercise induced Okay. Incontinence. Swimming. Yeah. yeah. We don't know. We don't know. See, I'm not bad. I don't have any trouble running. Because my system kind of blocks up a bit. Yep. Just that when it's relaxed at night. Or when you're asleep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, it's early days. They told me a year to two years, you'll know by then. To train your sphincter. Yeah. Probably one of Donald Mann's boys. Yeah, just for the living. Yeah. They own three farms. Oh, do they? And most of this stretch. This little bit of road is just for them. You people bought this stuff years ago. Yeah. They never envisaged what it would be worth. Yes, 100 years later, like 1920. Well, I, Donald Mann was a client of mine, I told you this. Right. He was an amputee. Right. So he missed out on the war. He missed out on signing up as a Canadian. Oh, did he? Yeah. Because he was an amputee then? He was an amputee then. Before. From what? From a childhood mm -hmm. farming oh. accident. <laughs> The brains aren't very good. The family, I mean. Yeah. He was a kid, he shouldn't have been anywhere near it. It's stupid. But a lot of accidents happen to oh, children in it farms. Is the family is stupid. They're absolutely dumb. The farming people, the most accident stupidity. Don't get it. You wouldn't do things on the road. 
You do the farm? Yeah, enough, stupid. enough of those farmers let their kids drive around on their Absolutely. property. Yeah, but not only that. They get in the way. What about those three girls who died who were playing in the rape scene? For one, decide to jump in here. Yeah. And you, 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 you suffocate. Because <laughs> you can't get out. You just go do. They're so slippy. It's like. You just disappear. But is there some sort of gas that comes off the nope. rapeseed? It's just, well, no, I think it's just the fact that it's so dense. You can't get any purchase. Okay. It's like quicksand. And all three of them, second one went into hell, third, both, all three died. Because the family is stupid. This is in Alberta. And they wouldn't, they didn't want to file anything just to make the province make farms mandatory that kids under a certain age, I think the eldest was 13 or something, <laughs> right? So bloody stupid. So they lose three girls in one family because the family didn't even remind them not to go anywhere near it. You know, you don't, no supervision, right? Yep. Bloody stupid. People are such fucking idiots. When it happens to their family, yep. they don't want to do anything. It's a bit like the gun laws, right? Well, talking of gun laws, a friend of mine, client, was shot in the neck yes. by his cousin. Oh. Yep, they were playing in the farmhouse, yep. and the parents were getting annoyed. Yep. And they said, Why don't you take the guns out oh, God. and shoot some birds? Oh my God, what are you doing? 14, 12. 12. Something stupid. Yeah. Absolutely no supervision, they're idiots. Yeah. And my friend got a bullet in the neck. Did he die? No. Well, he's he's dead now. Is he? Yeah. He, he died age 45, I think. He was 10 years younger than me. Really? From what? From pulmonary edema or something. Yeah. He choked, he got a lung infection mm -hmm. and because he didn't have any, <coughs> so to speak, the ability to cough it up, mm -hmm. he's lost the muscle in his diaphragm. Mm -hmm. Basically he was paralyzed from the oh, collarbone. Maybe it's affected his neck and his neck, well, his collarbone downwards, he couldn't even scratch his face. Oh, you mean it was a par it was quad. quadriplegic? Yep. Oh, from the shooting. From the shooting. Oh my God! Got his spinal cord. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, so I was looking after him amongst six or seven other care workers, and we used to have to feed him, bathe him. Right. His biggest treat was eating potato chips with a soup spoon. We used to have to feed him. Oh potato God. chips by by the spoonful oh and he used to eat peanut butter by the spoonful and I thought well you know this isn't particularly healthy eating but poor guy he had so few pleasures in life at least we could give him the pleasure of eating oh, sure. peanut butter with oh, a spoon of course. and potato yeah. chips I mean simple pleasures like that from 14 years old yep to 55 oh, Paralyzed from the collarbone downwards. Yep. Oh my God. He had a lot of UTIs. Yeah, of course. He had a lot of uh, sores on his ass, you know, from sitting in the wheelchair all the time. He had a pretty good wheelchair, I must admit. Excuse me. It used to tilt back so he could take some of the weight off right. his tailbone. What was his name? Randy. Randall Campius. Sometimes they came into the hospital because of infection and stuff. Yeah. You wouldn't get to meet someone. I had to go with him for a dental appointment. Had to take him for various blood work. Used to travel on the handy dart with him. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, that is where... 10, 12 years ago, he died, something more. Yeah, about 12 years ago. But 
that is where home care is so valuable. Because oh, he would have hated oh, being in an institution. Oh, oh he was in Harvard. He was at home. Yeah. Had his own apartment. Yeah. We had to vacuum for him. Yeah. We had to prepare meals for him. Right. If ever there was a case of somebody who needed right. special care, oh, he was it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking parents are stupid. All because dumb parents again, huh? the farmer, his yeah, uncle, said, go outside, you're making too much yeah, noise. And two kids with two guns. Yeah, no, it's stupid. Of course. Even 19-year-olds do it without thinking. I did it at about 30. When you were blind? Yeah, well, I didn't kill anybody. I hit a door. You hit oh, a I door. didn't know my dad had a pellet in his, in his gun. He had a BSA air rifle. Air rifle. Yeah. He didn't want to catch his dad. So he should have stuck him out. He was a very good shot. But they probably wouldn't kill him. No. In Just say. Well, I think he did. He told me he did it once. He my mum. He just Give him oh, a I'll nasty, just, nasty bruise. Just scared him off. Nasty bruise on the cranium. Oh, Hello. Morning. A little. Morning. Hi. Good for you guys. Yeah, very good. Keep it up. You look good. Right. We missed the bus. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a good one. She's funny. So we're almost done. A bit of joke, but we have a chance. We had to jump over a tree <laughs> near, the, near the bridge. Oh, she'll see it. She'll see it. Oh, wait. Did she go with that That's better. The gas is gone. Got the feeling better. It's just as you finish. Isn't it terrible when you got that? It's just awful. Still haven't heard the beeps. No. Yeah, well, I thought she might have brought Marsh. No, no. Because you used to exercise your dogs. I got so excited. We went to the park yesterday. Mum and me over here. Let's do it. Looking out for me. He could have come on this run with us, but he probably well, would have been no, in the bushes. No, he's no, he, he keeps with it very well. He's the best I've ever had. He just runs on. But it's cyclist. You'd have to kick all him all the time. Yeah. Because they're idiots. They don't slow down. And they, they wouldn't know which way he was going to go. But if I put him on, it's more for me to hold. Okay, I can Ooh. see my bike. Good. I smell the bar. I can smell the bar. Yeah. And there's the beeps. There we go. Hey, thanks a lot. Oh, it's good. You've been going to the gym. You feel a bit tired? <laughs> no? No. No? 40 minutes and 21 seconds. I'll measure it. Hey, the Spaniards are really beating up on Catalonia, aren't they? Yeah. Really big time. He's going to, he sacked all the officials. Now he's going to elect his own marriage. He's basically just slapping them on the knuckles. Oh, big time. Oh, yeah. yeah. But more yeah. like across the year. <laughs> well, it's like it's pretty... they've never really forgiven Barcelona for the... No. During the Civil War, they were the, the strongest oh, were they? opponents of Franco. Oh, well, no wonder. Good for them. Yeah. They've always had this bolshie yep. well, no, uh, independence. That was good. That was what, what's his name helped them there. George Orwell. Yep. He? Was in all that. But funnily enough, he yeah. said that he went there as a communist. Yes, he did. Yeah. But they had a split. Yeah. The Republicans split oh, yeah. up from yeah. Yeah. communists from nationalists. Yeah. He was a bit disillusioned by that. Okay, there's Chris. So she, started up. she started the car already. Oh. Hang on, she hasn't given you much room. There's the side of the car. Cheers, thank you, Carl. Hang on. I got it. There is a verge of cement just behind you. That's it. 
There's a big massive tree there, Chris. We had to vault over it. Yeah, no, there was. We did, no kidding. Right? We went under it. We but there was a tree. We couldn't get away from trees today. That was People went by. So All right. Quite... See you. Thanks a lot, Carl. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. <coughs> okay, so that's the run done. This, once again, will have to be labeled explicit. Whenever I run with Graham, he always drops the F-bomb. Now I get to put on my rain gear. So with the shoe incident at the beginning and the tree incident twice, we did have actually pretty much an even split. So this is the running jackal saying bye-bye from Lockside School.